Take a look. Trust me, whatever or whoever you put in here is safe. Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, Michonne and I are taking you on a tour of a beautiful $1.8 million virgin home. The property is not our listing, so we would like to thank the listing agent and the developer for allowing us to tour this home on behalf of one of our clients. Will you give us some stats on this beautiful property? Of course, so this beautiful home has five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, has a total of 3,663 square feet. It will hold a five car garage. Let me just check that garage. 50 foot deep RV garage, right? Yeah, 50 foot deep RV garage. And the garage square footage is, give me just a second is 2,331 square feet, no HOA. This is 2,300 square feet of just garage space. Yeah. That's incredible. And a 50 foot RV. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. So the exterior of this home has some really nice modern touches and we're literally in the heart of Virgin, Utah, just minutes away from some incredible hiking, biking. Um, Zion National Park is probably about a 10 minute drive away. You know, another thing that's great about this property is um, local zoning would allow for the owner to um, either rent out the casita or the entire place uh, as a nightly, weekly rental. So as we enter this home, there's a massive steel door with a very modern light fixture. This door is gigantic, as you can see. It's probably about the size of, equivalent of Formashans. Yeah. The front room opens with these huge um, sliding doors that could actually turn this into an indoor, outdoor living space. So this opens to the exterior. And this entire property is really designed to entertain. There are four master suites, right? Four master suites, including the casita behind the garage. Um, the whole house is equipped and wired for electronic blinds. They haven't been put in yet because whoever buys the property will be able to select what color they like. But it's a really nice touch having everything pre-wired. So you see these wires hanging down and folks, as we're uh, touring this property, there's still some work uh, being done. So this isn't a 100% finished project, but uh, whoever decides to purchase this house will be able to finalize it and put some personal finishing touches on it. So again, continuing throughout the dining area, living room area, there's more sliding doors that open to the outside. So this is a tri-level door and this will open all the way. Yeah, so this tri-fold will fold all the way over, well. allowing more uh, space here. This one as well. That door is as well. And I believe these doors actually slide into the wall, opening up that entire corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this house was definitely built for entertainment. We have a gourmet kitchen with some beautiful stone countertops. Oh, there's some additional storage. storage below. Has full Thermador appliances. The fridge is missing the uh, the covers for the exterior right now. Yeah. Here's There's the microwave is down here, and then we've got a triple oven. So we've got a thermidor oven here. So we've here. got a thermidor oven and cooktop, as well as a double wall oven. And then the butler's pantry is just right around the corner. And the house and before we head over there, just take a second to appreciate these views right from your kitchen window. It's incredible. 
It's not quite completed yet, but they're just finishing the cabinetry in here. It's nice That's and spacious. A quite large butler pantry and nice touch right here. All of the light switches for the dining area, kitchen, interior, exterior are right back here on this wall, nice and tucked away. There's some beautiful solid stone backsplash. You got your trash can. Really right nice there. hardware. Mm -hmm. Under light or under cabinet lighting. So which wing of the house do you want to explore first? Well, when you skip this room, we'll come hit this room first. So we'll start from the front. So there's a lot of um, closet and storage space as well. So just to let you know what's behind every door. Um, this bedroom also has its own entrance connected to the courtyard. Wow, there's just incredible views from literally every window of this property. And there's a huge mini split unit that creates an extra uh, climate zone just for this bedroom. All of the bathrooms have floating, floating cabinets with under lighting cabinets. The light up mirror, a lot of detail. Lots of incredible modern looking touches. It's a nice walk-in shower. Good size. And a good size closet. Yep. Okay. Really nice, tall, eight foot, um, solid doors throughout this property and 10 foot ceilings. Got another oh, closet, more Good storage. Coat closet, more of a linen closet really. Let's turn these lights on. So this bedroom also has its own climate zone. Again, with a mini split unit up above. And the whole house is wi um, wired with speakers throughout. This home is definitely built for entertainment. Got this little Michonne versus sliding door part two. <laughs> cool. Could put a little, a little hot courtyard tub right here. space with touches of modern architecture. Give you guys a better view of this area. It's a really good size suite that also has an ensuite bath. Is it a shower or is it a full bath? Um, so this one's just a bathtub, shower, shower so tub. This one has a shower tub. And again, take a look at these incredible views. Accents around the mirror. Beautiful stone for the countertop. Incredible cabinets with under cabinet lighting. Everything is tied really well together. And the hardware, of course, completes all of the finishing touches. So this hallway brings us to another hallway linen closet and yet another guest suite. So this guest suite has another mini split unit and French doors that take you outside, beautifully finished with metal and glass. They allow just enough light. And another great thing that we love about this house is that uh, there's really plenty of light in every room, so many windows. So this suite, has a walk-in shower and a similar bath with these stone finishes throughout and a matching set of mirrors and sinks. As you see this 
the spiral staircase that takes you all the way up to the top to the party deck. You guys will see that later in this video. This hallway has one, two, three, four, five, five windows that open out into your 800 square foot patio area. This entire house has a total of 800 square feet of covered patio space. And as we head down this hallway, there is a large coat closet. The door right across from the coat closet takes us into the garage, but we will save best for last. There's a powder room with uh, the central house server system that holds all of your electronics. Interesting location. This is a laundry room with plenty of space. It has a sink and some nice built-ins. And this is the master suite. The master suite has beautiful windows that give us a view of some local mountain scenery. And this, this backyard has some nice space. So this, this property sits on the back two thirds of the lot, so the front it's set back quite a bit from the street, so the property line is actually not too far out outside of the landscaped area, but it does have plenty of room to put in a pool if somebody decided to do so. This master suite has a gas-powered uh, fireplace with some beautiful beams across the ceiling, nice modern light fixtures, but the best part is right here. The master bath has dual vanities, dual sinks, dual modern mirrors, standalone tub, a walk-in wet room with rainfall shower heads in addition to two more shower heads on the walls. Wow, beautiful stonework and tile all the way to the ceiling. Guys, and you might still see a few touches here and there that uh, require the final punch, so this is this property is almost finished. You, in fact, you may hear some background noise um, as people are still working on this incredible home. There is a water closet that's detached from the rest of it, but this isn't even the most impressive part of this home yet. That's a gorgeous tub. Here's the part that excites me the most. How about a vault? a Fort Knox vault in your closet. Take a look. This room uh, has eight inch concrete walls, so it can be fully sealed off from uh, whatever thread might uh, be on the other side of this wall. And uh, take a second to appreciate how thick this, this is. I could additionally get you some fireproof rating for this room, but trust me, whatever or whoever you put in here is safe. Whoever. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the closet um, still has plenty of room and some really nice, very functional built-ins. Really, really high quality. There's beautiful flooring throughout, a mixture of LVP and tile. Let's take a look out in the backyard and we'll come back and uh, take a look at the garage. I'm just really excited about that staircase. I'll go after you. So as I mentioned earlier, there's a grand total of about 800 square feet of covered deck area between the front and back. I'll show you guys some of this in our drone footage later. Careful, watch your step. The sprinklers must have just gone on. And take a look at these views. How cool is this? You wanna go up to the party deck? Are you up to it? Mm -hmm. oh, oh wow, you have to do 360 views from here.
How cool is that? Zion is that way. It is a pretty toasty Southern Utah summer, July day. I think we're what? Hard to tell. Uh, I think we're in the 90s right now. But let's head back inside and check out the garage. That's another exciting part because this property has 2,300 square feet of garage space. That's exactly four, maybe even five, of my Chicago apartments just in this garage. Most of these bedrooms have access to the exterior space. And you might hear some banging and hammering, but we're entering through. So there's, a, there's an attached two car garage right here. And I'll provide some of the measurements because I'm sure a lot of our viewers would be curious about the size of the doors and such. So there's a mini split unit to cool down this space. Uh, plenty of lighting, beautiful open windows, and built-in speakers throughout this entire area. The garage doors are really cool as they allow so much natural light in to actually see what you're doing. And let's take a look at the RV side. So there's some work in progress. The RV side is quite large too. And additionally, uh, behind this garage, through that door, you can access uh, a casita that's attached to this property. And do you know roughly the size of the casita? Probably about five, maybe five, 600 square yeah, feet, like give or take. Let's take a look at the casita. Hey. Sorry guys, how are you? Hi. 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 <laughs> so the casita flooring is finished in beautiful tile and it has some built-ins. It has a full-size fridge, a gas stove um, with hair appliances throughout. And that gate right behind us is rolling down right now. So giving you some privacy from, uh, from the rest of the property and the garage. Oh, it catches. But that, oh yeah, I see. That's so cool. Yeah. It's work in progress, but that's still really cool. I've never seen that before. That's that's a way cool feature. So you could, you know, if, if it's a like a dog house scenario, a wife tells you to take your Harley and go to your dog house, you could. That's the idea, this is supposed to be the man cave. Yeah, that's a pretty cool that's man awesome. cave. It's huge in there. That's awesome. That's incredible. So really, it's a, it's a one bedroom. So you have a kitchen and a bedroom. We're now in a bedroom and it can also be accessed from the rear of the property. So as I mentioned earlier, if you plan on using this property as an investment property, the owner can either occupy the entire house itself or just the casita and the local ordinances for rentals allow for you to Airbnb either this space or the rest of the home. And you best believe it, they'll stay booked pretty consistently based on the demand that the local parks create and especially with everything that we just went through. So many people want to travel and I have absolutely zero reservations knowing that this place will stay occupied. Again, mini split unit, speakers throughout. The front is pre-wired for retractable power um, blinds. And this space has its own uh, walk-in shower with nice stone finishes, beautiful large mirror, um, there's no separate water closet, so the toilet is right here. And there's also a good sized closet. Sorry, as I keep backing myself into this corner. Um, and if you follow me in here, you can appreciate all the beautiful tile work in this room. Um, there's tile almost all the way up to ceiling and kind of an open door, allowing for more open space in the shower. Is that it? I think this is it. Have we seen the whole thing? Let's go capture some more detail in the front of the house. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll add that right after this.